Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle Database Administration Workshop and in this workshop we are going to deal with a complete understanding of Oracle Database Servers and Oracle Database Architecture and Oracle uh, Database Administrative Activities. This course is precisely very very helpful for all the junior DBAs and all uh, you know like uh, all the DBAs who are already working as a Oracle DBA for one or two years and you know after this course they are definitely going to be uh, you know champion in their career because you know we are going to deal with each and every module on each and every topic of Oracle database and you know the moment we explain about the theoretical part and then we're going to deal with you know a, a practical experiment and practical a live hands on demonstration so each one of you who are attending this course you know you will be installing your own setup and you will be doing each and uh, every task each and every model what we cover you know you will be executing uh, each and every command in your own lab and then you're getting the output and then you are correlating the whatever the theoretical part we cover with the uh, uh, lab uh, you know exercise so that you know it will be very it will boost your confidence that you know you can understand oracle database architecture in depth okay going next uh, as i said uh, this is going to be our entire content uh, it has a uh, 20 models and uh, you know five advanced models out of these 20 models, we are uh, first start with uh, exploring Oracle database architecture where we explain each and every concept and then how the Oracle architecture works and how internal uh, component of each and every architecture uh, will communicate, right? So we'll deal with the uh, entire architecture part here and then a second topic, we will go with Oracle ASM and ASM architecture. So we will again, uh, uh, you know, in depth understanding all the ASM concept and how internal ASM architecture and metadata works. And then the third topic, preparing the environment. Like, you know, we will install our ASM and we'll install our Oracle Home. Uh, we will do the live hands-on experiment here. And then fourth topic, we're going to create our database. You can create a database using many method, DBCA, manual method, cloning, Rman. You can use any method. And then we will install live hands-on experiment here. Each one of you are going to install your own database and you're going to drop the database. We're going to recreate and manage many things. We'll do it here. And then the fifth topic, managing ASM and database instance. So this is what, you know, we'll start our administrative activity. Each one DBA has to do all these kind of activities in our day in and day out of, uh, you know, uh, our DBA support, right? So we'll do, we'll deal with all the ASM and database, uh, how, you got, uh, how you are going to manage. And, uh, uh, you know, th this covers a lot of topics. So we'll come uh, as long as, uh, along with the theoretical part, we'll do the hand, uh, like uh, live hands-on experiment. On, on your own uh, setup what you are going to build on this uh, step two and step step three and step four right and uh, coming to the topic six database startup and shutdown sequence uh, database startup and shutdown sequence has many phases like no mount to mount mount to uh, open mode and you know uh, and then each phases has uh, you know uh, the set of required file like sp file p file control file read log data file so all the dependencies we are going to see it here and then uh, we're uh, going to the seventh topic that is configuration of your uh, network uh, network in the sense we are going to deal with our tns names li uh, listeners and uh, sql net that were uh, there are many configuration files you are going to deal with using net manager or netcar oem or manual like you know, we'll see all those uh, configuration here and uh, coming to the eighth topic that is managing database storage so managing database storage is uh, uh, you know how you are going to uh, see the actual data so the moment anybody do one single transaction like insert update delete uh, or any application will do any transaction how internally data will resides in my database like blocks extend segment table space data files and you know at the end it is a database so how it is going to uh, manage everything we are going to see it here and uh, administration of user security user security comes you know that is one of the security area where uh, each dba has to take uh, this is this this particular area very seriously because you know you have to do uh, each and every activities you know uh, what user has a what level of privilege and what all roles and uh, what all grants i need to give for a particular user and you know each user cannot see the object of the other user how you can uh, prevent that uh, security level everything we are going to see it here and also assigning some profiles you know and uh, password expiration you know we'll see a lot of activities here and at the time same the time concurrency data concurrency how uh, how data you know the, the concurrency happens you know by locking and latching and so many other techniques so we'll we'll deal with that 
and undo management if if somebody do the uh, any update on the on the existing table what happened to my old data is that going to delete immediately or it is going to retain for a certain period and how to manage this undo uh, that is the old data and then when i can clean up so we'll see all those activities here and uh, auditing auditing is again one of the very very critical uh, especially when you deal with the enterprise organization or a big organization and you know banking and insurance and finance sector so auditing is very very important you have to log each and every activity and uh, what user is doing what activity and which application is doing what kind of commands and you know how you can uh, uh, capture all those information and how you can periodically review that auditing part so that is very very important we will deal with here and database maintenance again database maintenance is one of the uh, you know regular activity every uh, week we need to do a regular database maintenance like gather schema stat table stat and you know optimizer and you know applying some patches and maintenance and bouncing your database and bouncing your application so this kind of you know to keep your database in healthy condition sometimes you know we'll do the maintenance activities like you know patching is one of the best ex ex example for this maintenance so oracle will release the quarterly patches like january April, July, and October, whatever the patches are security PSU, or security patches, PSU patches, whatever the patches Oracle releases, we used to apply it on our database kind of maintenance that is. And performance is a, one of the key factor for uh, each and every database or each and every DBS to take care of, you know, give extra attention to the performance. So, uh, you know, performance, we, how we can improve the performance of my database. So, we'll see it here in this performance management. And coming to this backup and recovery concept, that is one of the brilliant uh, topic I can say because you know, uh, as long as your business grows and your business continuity plan, you have to manage your uh, you know backup strategy and you have to keep your data for a longer period, like you know two years, three years, four years, five years, seven years. You know, the the keeping your data as a, a, a by backups and recoveries, it is one of the best practice. So we will see how what are the different ways you can do backups and recoveries. Uh, like you know if in the 16th chapter we'll see the some various kind of backups like army and backup export import uh, you know, and then other sql dump and external table so many so many concept we'll see it here and uh, full backup incremental backup differential backup so we'll see all those here and same once you have a backup and you you should be able to do the recovery uh, point in time recovery and then you know uh, so many backup recovery concept we'll see it here and moving data again, export, import, SQL loader, and external tables. The, the, the mini concept will see it, uh, how you can move data from one uh, database to other database via DB link or import, export, or the RMAN or you know, transportable table space. Or many, many activities will see it here. And then working with support again, you know, once you hit into bug or you know, once you want some support from Oracle, how you raise the SR, and then how you track your SR and how you update your SR, we'll see it, uh, how you work with Oracle support. And finally, we'll see some patching exercise and we'll apply some PSUs and CPUs and a one-off patch and merge patch and critical patch. We'll, we'll try to apply a few patches and we'll see how it works. And then after all seeing this uh, 20 topics, definitely you are going to be uh, one of the, uh, you know, uh, the, the DBA expert and you will be able to manage any client or any environment in, in a single handed. Because once you learn all these 20 topics with the theoretical and workshops and labs and hands-on experiment and your knowledge is definitely going to be boost and then you know you will be getting a lot of confidence in your career and then you will be able to manage entire uh, client or entire project by single-handed. So along with that, we'll move some advanced or special topic in this course. So those are like you know data guard. Uh, data guard is one of the uh, uh, very very important when when it comes to the uh, disaster recovery so once you lose your entire production uh, uh, like production uh, setup production uh, you know data center itself like you know you immediately switch your uh, dr setup and you connect your application and make your dr as active and then you know you can continue your, your business right so dr setup will see architecture and also we'll see one uh, workshop how you can set up the dr environment and rack architecture again like you know high availability and performance increase in you can scale out scale in you know dynamically known without downtime yeah like you, as your business grows you know how you can expand your uh, uh, database right like currently i have a two node rack and then if my business is growing and you know i need a, you know much performance impact and then you can add two more two more row nodes in the in your rack so how you can dynamically expand and you know how you can dynamically scale in and scale out you can see and rack architecture and overview with the workshop 
and few of the 11G, uh, I'll just comparison with 11G, 12C and 19C, what are the new features and how it works and what are the differences, we'll see all this here. And uh, you know, coming to the fourth topic that is your multi-tenancy architecture, uh, like CDB, PDB, how you can connect to CDB, PDB and how you can create a user in CDB, PDB, all we see it here in the CDB, PDB management. And finally, OEM, OEM is a GUI mode and you know, each and every activity, what you do at command line, everything you can manage it through OEM, like single click and you know, it's a GUI based uh, tool and then you can uh, feel like whatever activity you fire it on SQL prompt, command prompt, you can, you can do all those activities on, on OEM. So, you know, as, as uh, this, this topics covers all our topics uh, uh, from the beginnings to the advance. So once you complete, you are going to be one of the DBA expert. And, you know, as I said, if you see this particular screenshot here, each and every uh, session has uh, its own labs and hands on experiment. Uh, and then we are going to uh, see, uh, uh, we are going to give all this lab exercise uh, commands. And then you know you will you are going to do uh, each and every topic with the with lab hands and experiment. I can quickly uh, show about our lab material. So here is the lab material. You can see all the labs. You can see lab one, two, three, four. All, all the lab exercise. Uh, if I open this uh, lab zero, and then you know it, it basically uh, you know deals with how to set up your lab. You know where to download the software. You have to go to edelivery.oracle.com. You need to download your virtual box, and you need to download your 11G, 12C, 19C software. And you know these are like uh, how you can download, and then once you download, and how you can uh, along with that you have to download your OEL, OEL six, seven, eight. You can download whatever you feel, and then once you download, and then you know you can install your uh, uh, OEL with with your rack, and then few of the RPMs you need to install once once that is done. So for that, uh, you know we are we are using our uh, uh, Oracle Virtual Machine, Oracle Virtual Box. This is a free tool provided by. Uh, Wackle, you can you can install this virtual tool and we'll install our we uh, Linux box and then inside that Linux box uh, We are going to install our uh, our database if you see here I have installed this OEL 6 and there I installed our 11 G and then 12 C and 19 C you can install whatever uh, Whatever the whatever you you want to exercise uh, Like either 11 G or 12 C 19 C you can install and then you know you can you can deal with that